Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video is most worn, okay? If you want to know the fragrances that I pull for the most, I need you to just keep watching. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the first one on this list, I'm obsessed with. And if you watch my channel, you already know how I feel about Dolce Garden, okay? <laughs> Dolce Garden is just so addictive to me and I don't know why, I don't know what it is. Um, Just, wow, one of my favorite designers. Uh, I'm gonna just put it on out there for summer. If you wanna smell like coconuts, almonds, like all of the delicious things, this is it. I think this has a fragile penny in it and the sweetness of it, the electronic like, quality of it, it's just so addictive for me, okay? That is why I wear it so much. And honestly, I would think the dent will be even bigger than this, but I retired her for like some months because I was going like crazy about you know, wearing this fragrance every night when I went to bed or, you know, every other day is my scent of the day. This is one beautiful designer fragrance and I just cannot get enough. So as you can see by the dent, this is definitely one of my most worn for this summer. Okay, you guys, so the next one on this list is going to be one from the house of Zhirzhov. And this is from the Cosmorati line. This is the beautiful, stunning, pretty girl, Dama Bianca, okay? This is vanilla, it's kumquat. It's just a very exotic vanilla for me. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about this. It is reminiscent of gentle fluidity gold. I have no idea why because they do not share like similar notes, but there is just some note, some component in here that reminds me of that. And I don't know if it's just the muskiness, the powderiness of it, but this is a beautiful scent. Um, now, are they so similar that you don't need both? No, they're not dupes for each other. They're not. I'm just saying this really puts me in the mindset of, you know, um, gentle fluidity. But this is sweet. This is very, very powdery. Like if you're a girl that likes a powdery scent, Dama Bianca, it's vanilla. It's a little fruity and it is just such a wonderful feminine fragrance. So if you want like that pretty girl powdery scent, <sighs> Dama Bianca, it is beautiful. All right, so the next one up on this list, I ranted and raved about, and y'all already know the blue heart was gonna be on this list. It's saffron, it is coconut. <sighs> it's got this woody muskiness to it, and it is just a stunner. Um, this bottle, I really, really wish that Tamin made like 100 mil sizes. I think all of their fragrance offerings are at the 50 mil. So once this is gone, I will definitely be re-upping on it. I have been trying to like ration it out because, um, if you can see like the dent is, I'm holding it at an angle, but it's a little bit below the halfway, um, point and, so obsessed <laughs> i'm so obsessed i just love the fragrance it's sexy it's musky um ambery like something about the amber musk it has just come in and just taken over my life i don't know what it is that combination okay heavy on the amber heavy on the musk i'm probably going to like it this is such a beautiful fragrance they do have it back in stock at selfridges I don't know when it's going to get over, make its way over to the U.S. I would think by now Lucky Scent would be carrying it. Um, I need to check again. I haven't checked in a while, but I don't think they have this yet. So, you know, hopefully it'll be more available, more easily accessible in the near future. But if you can get your nose on this one, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love this fragrance. And for that reason, it is absolutely one of my most worn for the summer. Okay, so I'm gonna just let the dent speak for itself. 
It's rep rev. I am not a fan of patchouli, okay? But this is a rose patchouli balm. And when I tell you I'm in love, it is sweet. The patchouli is very clean and it's sparkling. Like it is not dirty. It is not like this heavy, earthy, overpowering patchouli. It's just patchouli done beautifully. I love this. My daughter loves this. I mean, when she puts it on, I'm always like, girl, what do you have on? It's like, I can't play. Sometimes I can't place the fragrance when she has it. So I'll ask her and it's almost always a trick. Like she loves this fragrance. Um, I've tried quite a few from the house and this one is just still such a standout fragrance for me. Haven't really smelled any others that I really want to add to my collection as of right now. But I know they just released um, a few more. So I want to get my nose on those and see, you know, if I want to add those as well. But I love this fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful quality. This fragrance lasts. I don't know about all the others in the house. Like there are mixed reviews about the longevity um, of some of the fragrances from Louis Vuitton, but this one, it lasts, okay? The patchouli is gonna make sure that the scent goes nowhere. This projects, okay? If you overspray this, everyone is going to smell you. I overspray, I overspray it. And when I tell you this scent is still so very strong at the end of my 12 hour work day, it is strong. And beautiful sillage, beautiful sillage, wonderful performance, definitely worth the price point to me. Um, you know, that's a very subjective thing. It is often compared to, which one is it? Uh, Mon Paris. And I just, I liked Mon Paris. That is a pretty scent, but the patchouli was just, a hair too much like it was just it it's not as refined as this like I definitely get the similarities but this much more refined and I feel like it just wore better on my skin I can only speak for me it's not overly sweet very sweet but not overly sweet I feel like Mon Paris is can it can be a little bit too much you know especially in the hot heat this one this rose patchouli I feel like wears beautifully all year round um Love this fragrance. Again, that is a Trap Rev. The Pretty Girl, It Girl Scents by Louis Vuitton. Okay, so the next one on this list is almost done. Oh my God, I wish we could see the dent. Like you really have to put these bottles next to like some serious like direct light lamp for you to see where the, the juice level is, but it's way on down there to the point where I can barely hear anything shaking. So we have to re up, but this is Cassiopeia by Tiziana Tadorinzi. This fragrance is so sweet and beautiful. I think this is like passion fruit. I forget what other fruits are in it, but it is stunning, okay? This is not as bold and heavy on that Tiziana Tadorinzi musk. But it's definitely still a Tiziana Serenity. So, I mean, if you love the fragrances from that house, you will probably love this. But you do have to like it sweet. Like, this is so sweet. It's sweet, but it's not a heavy, weigh me down sweet. It does maintain, um, you know, a little bit of an uplifted quality to it, a bright quality to it. It's not anything that's, um, you know, heavy or cloying, in my opinion. Um, if you want to smell sweet, if you want to smell, you know, like that girl, if you want to, you know, be alluring, but fun and flirty, Cassiopeia is definitely one you need to try and get your nose on. It's becoming more and more popular um, for the house and for good reason. Like this is such a highly likable scent. Um, for me, this was a blind buy and I don't regret it. I do not regret it. Like I feel very comfortable blind buying from this house because I can look at the notes and I can kind of figure if it's going to work for me or not. Like I've become a very good blind buyer. So this is a good blind buy for me. But if you're not familiar with the house, I always recommend trying this uh, particular uh, house before you buy just so you can kind of get a feeling for their DNA. It's a very distinct DNA and some, it just doesn't jive well with like any house. So 
love this scent, sweet candy. Like that's what you're going to smell like when you put on Cascopia. Love it and will definitely be re-upping because baby, it got some wears this summer to the point where it's almost gone. Okay, now you know how I feel about my love, 100 Solid Ways by Nishane. This fragrance grew on me so much. I liked it when I first smelled it, but I was not in love. Like it took me wearing this several times for me to like really be in love. And now I just love it. It is this beautiful, I think it's peach or nectarine. I can't remember, um, but it's sandalwood and it's white florals. And this is not in any way a sharp, heady white floral. This isn't stark and I find that this is just a very pleasant wearing experience for me. And I feel like it will be even if you're not into white florals because this is so creamy. The sandalwood is so creamy. Um, it's very sweet. You have to like it sweet to appreciate this fragrance. And I even have the body oil, which I layer. But in general, 100 Silent Ways is a fragrance that layers really well with a lot of other fragrances. So... If you're looking for something to sweeten up fragrances, you want to add this air of femininity to something, nothing says feminine like white florals, okay? Or very sweet or creamy. Like when you add those to a fragrance, it's just going to, you know, to really change up the vibe in a very girlish way. So I love this one for layering. So very happy that I did get a big bottle. I'll say about quarter of the way through, but I mean, that's, you know, that's quite a bit for a uh, hundred mil. Um, love this fragrance and highly recommend you getting your nose on it if you've never tried it. <sighs> Nisha Nay, I think in general, it's very easy to come by Decan's samples of their fragrances. So if you have nothing from Nisha Nay, honey, why? What are you waiting on? The quality of their fragrances, okay? They're all extraits. This one, I feel like has more of a, of a moderate uh, sillage and projection, but it lasts quite some time on the skin. Okay, this is gonna give you a good eight to 10 hours on the skin, moderate projection, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I feel like this is just one that kind of belongs in every woman's collection, if they like it sweet. You know, if you're looking for a white floral, not a huge fan, give this one a try, you will probably like it. Again, that is Under Silent Ways by Nishane. All right, so you knew, you know that this would be on the list because first of all, look at the dentation, okay? This is Skirzo by Miller Harris. Very addictive, beautiful, unique, feminine, stunning, elegant, classy, sophisticated. Um, Just, this is the wow factor fragrance that is, Still very easy to wear, very likable, still mass appealing. It's it's niche, it's unique, but it's just, it's it's so wearable. This is a rose oud combination that you can wear anytime, any place, and it gets so many compliments. It's so beautiful. It's very hard to describe, but if you can get a sample, if I'm not mistaken, anthropology actually sells travel sizes of this fragrance. And I never see a travel size of this particular fragrance. Um, actually, this one is affordable, relatively affordable for a niche fragrance. Um, I will definitely, absolutely be getting 100 mil the next time I read up because this is like one of my top five. Like this fragrance is beautiful. I tend to overspray this because I just overspray. Like a lot of people say you don't need that many sprays. I overspray this. It definitely gives you a good like 10 to 12 hours on your skin. It lasts all day. You won't have any issues with, um, you know, it projecting, it lasting. Beautiful fragrance and just wonderfully executed. Like I don't know how they came up with this, but I'm telling you, this is a beautiful fragrance. If you have never tried anything from the house, they do have some really great fragrances at Miller Harris. Um, you know, lately my little collection has just been like UK invasion. Like I love, I'm loving some of the fragrances that are coming out of, you know, the UK lately. And this one is, you know, the, 
the, the, the queen, the Dawn. Like, I love her. Scarecell, again, by Mailer Harris. All right, you guys, and so the last one on this list is Delina La Rose. You knew what Delina would be on this list. It's so many, like, lists, most, you know, most lists, favorites, like, it's gonna be a Delina somewhere. One of the three is probably gonna be on the list. But for the summer, La Rose has been that girl. First of all, it's fresher, it's lighter, um, it's just a more watery take on Delina. But, 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 there's a big but. Do not mistake that for something that is weak and that is not projecting because I thought that about this fragrance and I was very wrong. I oversprayed the hell out of this fragrance one day. I layered it with the Delina body cream. I oversprayed this because I always do. It's fresh, you know? And because it's fresh, I feel like eh, it's not gonna last as long. It doesn't last as long as the other Delinas, but it lasts a long time and this does project. This does project. I was working an accident out on the highway. Had this on, okay? I didn't pair with the other Delinas. This is the body cream and the La Rose. That's all I had on. I was inside of my patrol car with the windows rolled up. My beat partner came to me and said that he could smell me outside of my car. What? <laughs> Another day I wore this. I was probably about a good six hours into my day. I'm thinking, you know, the La Rose probably has a lot left the building because it is a fresher experience. No, ma'am. Walked up to this old lady and she was like, you smell really, really, really good. Like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I was like, God. Like, I, I'm, I wasn't expecting the same reaction from people as I do the other Delinas, but this one, it performs. So do not believe the, the clear nature of the bottle and the, like, I'm telling you, this thing, it performs. Love this fragrance, and for that reason, absolutely getting its wares. Love, love, love the entire Delina range. Parfums to Marley, what is going on with the body oil, okay? We pre-ordered this thing, what, in May, June? Okay, what, what, what's going on? Because it's all, it's damn near, it is August and we still haven't gotten the body oil in the US. Like what is going on? Y'all need to get it together so my little collection will be complete until y'all come up with something else because anything that is Delina, I, I need it. I need it, I want it, I gotta have it. So y'all need to get it together and come through for your people in the US of A, okay? That happily pay y'all and buy these products. All right, you guys, so that is the video for today. Leave me a comment below. Let me know the top three fragrances that you have been wearing the most this summer. What are your favorites? What are you pulling for the most? I need to know, all right? You guys, it has been wonderful. Please do not forget to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Double check, you might think you subscribe, you might not be. Make sure you subscribe. Also make sure that notification bell is turned on so that you're always updated when I have new posts. And last but not least, if you found value in the content, give the video a thumbs up because you know what? It helps your girl tremendously with the algorithm. All right, so it's been lovely, it's been real. I love spending this time with you all, but I will have to catch you all on the next one.